their projects is in our wall. So, you know, I represent that whole third wall because I've been to Magnolia, to Cali, yo. I've been on all the back streets and everything. So I went and got that three. And one night I'm in a uh, trial to stop. And Birdman and Tantiza coming up. And he see that thing glistening. He like, I like that there, little brother. I like that. Mm-hmm. Shit, about a month later, Birdman, we got a three and a 13. Like twice the size Ooh. of my shit. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, we always, we interviewed Boz here before. Oh, word, the big so, homie. Big guy. homie. So tell me about your interactions with Boz. Tell me about um, how you think about him as a person. So I just told Boz this yesterday, you heard me? <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah, Boz said, Shout out to Boz, Boz, that's my boy. Why you always worrying about bitch ass shit, bro? <laughs> Why you always worrying about bitch ass shit? You gonna let a bitch ass nigga get you worked up? <laughs> like, man, you right, man. <laughs> OG. For real though, Bob, like you get a bitch ass nigga. Too much real estate in your mind, man. That's Stop worrying about what they're doing, man. Let them real. keep hating, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He said, as long as you got the respect of the people you want to respect you, then you 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 good. You feel mm-hmm. me? You ain't worrying about no peons respecting you. It's the people who you admire. If they respect you, then you doing something right. 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 That's a fact. Wow. I, I I just I, I think about just the fact of Man, you seen all that coming up as a youth, man. You seen the whole movement, man. I'm jealous, man. <laughs> but you right up and close. And you too. You was young, but you seen it. Yeah, yeah. City was on fire. I mean, and City had to be on fire. You got, man, cash money. When they when they came on the scene, like, how was it? And and how did you, this three chain, like, you know me, we talked a little bit about it, like, oh, yeah, how you come up with up. the three chain before up. anybody? And, and did you, uh, give me the history on this chain. Because yeah, I done seen it. I believe Birdman had it on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So tell but, me about it. Like, what's the history of it. The third was the Malfamine, the Magnolia, and the Calio. You feel what I'm saying? Like, every project got a ward, but our ward got three projects, and the three head projects is in our ward. So, you know, I represent that whole third ward, because I've been in the Magnolia, the Calio, I've been on all the back streets and everything. So, I went and got that three, and one night I'm in a uh, trial to stop, and Birdman and Tantiza coming up, and he see that thing glistening. He like, I like that there, little brother. I like that. Mm-hmm. Shit, about a month later, Birdman we got a three and a 13, like twice the size Ooh. of my shit. <laughs> man, and then, what, did you th- what did you think when you seen him? You like, like, damn. Man, why would you do me that, man? <laughs> you, why yeah. you ain't even out shit like that. Why would you do that to me, man? Come on, man. I got the streets on fire with this thing right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard, though, but but the, that that's and that's respect, though. Look what you influence, man. Yeah, that's a fact, man. And, that, and, and you knew that he seen yours you like he got that thing man mm-hmm. yeah for sure for sure i know for sure that's after crazy. i popped up with it then he popped up with it then a few other uptown out that third wall went to popping up with him you heard me man that's hard man I got- at the end of the day i only I, mean, I asked that but, but because you got to think about it for birdman had a lot of jury you know yeah what that's saying? the reason yeah. why and i was thinking about that i heard that in uptown or uh, where, where birdman is a stunner and they be like okay that's why they be stunned that is this the true thing Man, that's the way that's mm-hmm. influenced me. You heard me? Like, really? I, like, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you hear this. See that he influenced me. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I don't wear jewelry. <laughs> it's no, it got, it's stunned. It got to be stunned. Yeah. Look, yeah. I tell him, I say, bro, I'm you got to wear time. jewelry. Everywhere I FaceTime him in the morning, he got jewelry on. <laughs> and he always keeps saying, I that's get it from right. you. I say, I don't wear it no more. Like she said, mm-hmm. you go to jail, do time, you come home, change right. my life. <laughs> I'm like, man, I spent 50000 on the watch, man. I ain't buying all them chains no more. Man, man. you killing it, though. But so, so, and that's a thing that I, so that's a real deal. Like when Birdman, when I seen it, they like, man, everybody, somebody was like, man, everybody be stunned in uptown. Man. That's how they mm-hmm. do it, man. man. You pitch a juvenile at his height as a career, you go pull up in that Magnolia, Juven might not be in town. He going to have a, Yellow cars parked all in the Magnolia by the project. He got a That's hard. Look, he got a, a Corvette out there, a Benz, a Beamer, a Jaguar, a Bentley. He just <laughs> leave his cars in the project. That's what you call stunt. <laughs> That's what you stunt. You just leave your like every time somebody passes the Magnolia, you just see a million dollar in cars just mm-hmm. parked right there. Clean. Wow. That's crazy. He get, the, he get rock heads to go clean his car while he on the road. That is hard that, though. I'm, Kira said, oh, okay, I got one more. Then. Okay. Damn. Oh. <laughs> I already went through this. It's in my mind. She's trying to do it on, on, on my notes. Yeah. yeah. Tell oh, me, could they call him the spokesman of New Orleans? For sure. Some people say he is. Some people say he isn't. For sure he's the spokesman of New Orleans. For why sure. is he so? Because he ain't, he, he he report everything in New Orleans. Like, he he go to bat for us. If he sees somebody stealing our culture, 
he put it on blast. You feel me? Like the situation with Jubilee, the situation even with Mobo Joe, because I seen Mobo Joe. You heard me? Shout out to Mobo Joe. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? Like he put light on that situation right. too. And that's how I found out through the situation through GDP. But GDP, okay. he plug a lot of situations up in New Orleans and mm -hmm. he do it without wanting anything just out of the love that he got mm. for the culture. And he's educated on the culture. It ain't like he's just speaking ignorant about the culture. He gonna put the facts behind Exactly. Him. Hey, so what you think? Don't go over there quiet on me. What you think? You got an opinion? You been seeing this blogging and him talking about different things. Do you agree? I ain't been saying I ain't gonna lie. You don't be watching. Nah, <laughs> I, don't I, don't mean. Mean. I don't be watching. That don't keep a street. You don't work. What do you think about the bloggers and the, all of the stuff that's going on on the internet like it does? Do you even think about it? Well, I look at it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to it. You I don't be tapped lie. in? Yeah, I don't. But you, why? Though? Why do you think? Because you, you be like, Don Chief told me, I live in the real world. Like, Damn, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm about yeah, to, man, I be, I, be, I be zoned in what I'm doing, what I got, what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you could get stuck into looking at all that. Shit. Everybody's stuff, everybody's movement. Yeah, you but know it helps saying? educate too yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah. move. Like people gonna be doing it to you. Uh -huh. Like the more you work, people gonna try to paint a picture of who you are and what you've done, your legacy, right. the things that you've accomplished. And I think that's needed for our people to see. That's where you become an OG for me because you're now leading the way where you can show how people like yourself, man, people like Vaughn, you know, right, y'all right, made right. moves and people can right. see it and learn from it. I think that's hard, bro. Oh, yeah, that's, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, that picture got to be painted. Real talk. Oh, yeah. Like, I got a bank what I give in a project every year for the kids, like for the basketball and the football team. And I live in Atlanta now. So one year I just popped up and just came there. And to see that we got a prospect from our park that's number one that's about to go. And when I walked, just to see the inspiration that I put into wow. him, he like, Vaughn, Vaughn, I'm telling you, woo, 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 I'm going to put on for the hood like you did. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm like, that's what we're supposed to do. Like, because I'm the same one that influenced all my little cousins to be what I was. And they see me ride around with the guns and the jewelry and the mm -hmm. cars and the females, and they wanted that. And I didn't take time out to tell them what comes with that because they just see a picture of what you're doing, but they don't know because you don't have that conversation because you run it. That's mm -hmm. real. You chasing time. money 365. Real, you feel me? Man. So if somebody would have called home from jail, all my old cousins were like, yo, I see you out there getting that money, but look. This could do the Rico. Man, we, I ain't never know what the Rico would be. You feel right. what I'm saying? So when I'm indicted on the Rico, it's like, what is this? I don't know. I ain't doing nothing for the no enterprise, so I don't right, know. Right. I want to go back to the film a little bit because um, I know you were in that movie before and then now you're writing. What inspired you to start writing and want to do your own thing? Seeing them still in our culture. Coming to New Orleans, taking our culture, and I'm one of the few ones that could put the whole culture together. Like, I could make a phone call. If the check big enough, I could call Birdman and, and make a play. If it's big enough, I could call Master P and make a play. I probably could call both of them and make the same mm -hmm. play. You but feel how me? hard is it to do so, to, to start that film? I know you're putting up everything on this film, but to sit down and write it, to get it edited, to get the, you know, you know people, but how hard is, is it to do so? Writing, it wasn't hard because I write hard. music. And then I just call him like out of the blue. Like, yo, what's up? You're mm -hmm. like, what's up? I'm like, you want to shoot a movie? So when you wrote the characters, you already had him in mind? No, I just called him. Like, I just knew, I don't know if I had him in mind, but I knew it was going to be somebody from where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, what should I shoot a movie? He ain't saying nothing. Like, let's go. Come on. Is everybody in the movie from New Orleans? Yeah. No, I shot some in San Francisco, oh, yeah. too. Oh, okay. So I got, like, some scenes in San Francisco. Okay. So I went got Why some San big Francisco? dogs in San Francisco. Because that's my second home. Okay. What? Yeah, that's my second home, Bay Area. You love the Bay Area? I love the Bay Area. We've never been, I've been to San Diego, but I was thinking about San Francisco, but I'm like, they ain't got nothing out there. Yeah, they got You nothing. crazy. They like got, what? And you not like go San to, Diego, though. You got to go to no, Oakland. No, no. It's hella culture in Oakland. It's shout culture. out to E-40. Shout out to Be Legit. Shout out to <laughs> Shout out to Sugar T. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? Shout it don't out to play. Big Vine. Big, already there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.